How's it going YouTube? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy, the Generations Legacy Prime Universe RC from Hasbro and Takara Tomy. This is the third deluxe in the first wave of the Transformers Legacy line. Um, this is the one that I actually had the least ambition to pick up and then when I finally picked it up, absolutely blew me away. So, um, this figure is really cool. Um, and I really do enjoy it uh, for what it is, kind of a re uh, reimagining of the Prime RC in a different style. Um, on this side of the box, we have that same artwork as the Skids box, and on this side, you have you know the motorcycle, and on this side, you have her in a robot mode, and then also a close up of her face, um, which is pretty cool. And on the back, she transforms in 20 steps and robot mode. Uh, motorcycle mode, you got this QR code tech specs, and you got parents in 30 languages. So, <laughs> without further ado, let's move on to the figure herself. And here is the Deluxe Class Legacy RC. And she looks absolutely, uh, she looks really good in hand. Uh, a lot of those pictures that she had, uh, that uh, they had uh, posted of her uh, when they first revealed the figure. Or what, even those first few leaked photos, I I absolutely abhorred this thing. Um, absolutely despised the way it looked in those photos. But when I saw it in store and I was like, I'm gonna check it out. Now I have it in hand. Fantastic figure. Now mine does have a flaw. Um, on this leg, uh, this arm this armature here is the same one that's used for this leg here so it doesn't snap in properly uh, the way it's supposed to on this side however it holds in nice and tight and I don't have any issues with it um, especially like when articulating her I don't have any issues with it moving or anything accessories she comes with two of these um, and they're just kind of these little blades, I guess. Uh, they're ch supposed to emulate the blades that she had in Transformers Prime. Um, they're the same. They're molded the same. Uh, you can flip this one around and attach them together and form a disc. Um, and it's got like this cool star pattern in the middle, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you can also, you know, put that back on there or wherever. Uh, put it in her hand if you want. Um, it's got a couple ports here as well um, Or if you wanted to you could take like this weapon here and like attach these to the sides of it Like so um, Or you could like take this attach these here like this um, Plug it into the barrel if you want it plug it in here like this I mean, it's kind of it's it's a play pattern for kids, so it's a little gimmick. Um, I usually just plug them in separately on their arms, or just toss it off to the side. I don't really care too much about it. Um, her other accessory, which is part of actually part of the vehicle mode, uh, would have to be her um, these this wheel. So. And I like pretending it's kind of like a drone, kind of like a surveillance drone. She could like, or something. Um, or she can like use it as like a double buzz saw. It's pretty cool. Uh, so that's pretty cool too. Um, I did add some paint to this figure only to add some detail to the motorcycle. So um, I added I silver paint to the mirrors um, as well as some silver and green paint to the uh speedometer um, and the gauges up there um, there are a few ways you can actually uh, display RC um, another way that's been popular is taking these up here like this uh, so she kinda has her wings from that she had in uh, prime so that's another way to display her if you want so there are options on how you want to display her backpack. Uh, that being said, the you know the manual says to display it like that, kind of hanging off the back. And then this, I like to attach it behind her head. I attach it behind her head uh, most of the time, but uh, you can also 
close this up. And there's three there's three pegs uh, that correspond with three holes, um, and then they plug together. It spins really nicely, uh, but you can also plug that into the back, and so not bad, not bad at all. Another thing about this figure is uh, these are kind of the right size for um, you can attach uh, these two. So they're about, you know, the five millimeter port uh, plug size, post size or whatever. Uh, so you can plug those in like that if you wanted to and kind of give her some larger wings. So a lot of options with this figure. Articulation wise though, her head's on a ball joint, and she can look up a far ways. Uh, not a whole lot down. And then the rotation is kind of limited. Um, you can get to that far um, before you have to kind of move her head around the neck. This pink and silver looks really nice on her. Uh, she's got blue eyes with light piping. Uh, which you don't see a whole lot. I guess they're doing that to homage, really, the uh, R.I.D. figure, uh, the prime R.I.D. figure. Uh, universal or shoulders, so up it can go full 360, can go up here, so that works. Bicep rotation, I think one of these falls off on me a lot when I'm rotating it, but probably not going to do it while I'm filming. Uh, bicep, or sorry, elbow bend, and it can t go straight out and bend to 90. And then wrist rotation. So, pretty well articulated here. Um, she has a ball joint in her waist, so she can go side to side um, as long as you're not detaching the ball joint uh, socket and kind of go up and down a little bit um, a lot of people have like the issue where they find that her waist is really flimsy um, and you can see like here I detached it uh, so that you can see what's going on with a lot of people's copies and basically you stand her up and like she flips back like that um, however it does clip into place so if you pull it forward all the way it will clip into place this piece can go up and down also uh, for transformation. Um, kick forward and kick back. Pretty good. And out to the side, she can do the full split. Uh, going to the knees, you got less than 90 degrees of knee bend. And then she has an ankle rocker. And then her toes can tilt down mostly for transformation. So. Pretty cool, she's got silver here, silver here, uh, some pink paint here on the sides, um, on the wrists, some pink paint here on the on the shins as well. And that nice Autobot insignia tampoed in the center of the chest. Uh, transfer, transforming this figure is pretty simple. Um, well, first off, I wanna do a quick size comparison. Here she is with drag strip. So, there she is with drag strip, and for transformation now. Um, so, we want to slide down these wrist guards and rotate the arms outward, like so. Bring up the backpack, rotate it, and just kind of leave it back like that. Or you can bring it all the way up. Flip that up. Make sure that panel's flipped up like that. And then you want to go ahead and flip the toes in. And then bring these. Um, pull the shin away from this back strut. So you can plug that into the heel. On both legs. So she kind of explodes a little bit. Um, then you want to bring this back. Rotate at the ball joint and then bring this waist panel around uh, this little cod piece, I guess. 
um, and then bring it all the way back like so. And you kind of pull the seat out just a little bit just to get kind of the uh, look that you want. And then bring the arms down on this hinge here. And you can see there's stress marks. Um, those were right out of the box, uh, these stress marks in here. So do be careful there because um, that's literally the only thing holding these arms on is that hinge. And then bring the arms together in the center. And they kind of tab in uh, under here so you don't have to worry about them wiggling around or anything. And then you want to bring the legs down and around and they kind of wrap around the head. So that's kind of what you're looking at. Bring this down all the way. You can bring these legs or these wheels around, and it's the same system as the front wheel, where you have two posts or on one, and then the hole on that one, and then one post and two holes on the other. And you can plug them together, and then you're gonna bring these panels back, and there's a tab that'll plug into the leg. And the other tab that I talked about earlier uh, will plug into this um, kind of where the armpit was. And there's even a stress mark there. Um, I can't tell if you can, there. You see that stress mark there too. Um, I've never noticed that one before, but it's definitely there. But anyway, bring this one around too and plug that in. And. She has a kickstand, so there she is in her motorcycle mode, and she looks really good. Uh, very, very accurate to the motorcycle from Prime, um, if I recall correctly, of course. And of course, you can bring these in. You can plug them into any 5mm port. There's not really any reason to show that right now, but the bike rolls really smoothly. has a kickstand. And it just, it looks very accurate to uh, the character model. She does have her hands kind of sticking out here. If you look underneath, you can see her face. But, I mean, that's not much different than what you'd get with the uh, R.I.D. Um, or the first edition, for that matter. Uh, well, the first edition did tuck the head into the body, but um, not much different than what you got with the Prime R.I.D. I do like that they have the blue pin striping inside the wheels um, on the front. It looks better than on the back. I do wish they'd picked this out in silver on the back. They did it on, like they did here on the front. Um, however, they didn't make that decision. And there's the other side, pretty much exactly the same. Now this piece does have a tendency to come off, um, and I had glued it on, but it came back off again. Uh, I'm not going to really show that because it's not supposed to be a feature. Um, but it's like a clear piece of plastic and then like another piece of plastic, which I believe was... Um, it, it's all painted. It's all painted. So it's like a blue piece of plastic with paint on it, I think. Or it was black. I can't remember. Looks like it was black plastic with blue paint over it. Uh, gives it this nice metallic look. Um, not like sparkly metallic, but like, it looks like it's painted over metal. And then the headlights, I did paint silver behind the headlights as well. So it catches light and kind of reflects it. Otherwise it just looked kind of like dead blue. Um, anyway, that's kind of been my, that's been my review of RC. Here's a size comparison real quick, actually. Um, Studio Series Barricade. Motorcycle bots are always too big, of course, so um, can't really expect anything less from RC here, so pretty cool. And here she is actually with uh, skids and kickback as well, just just for that matter. So, yep, really good figure. Um, I definitely recommend, especially to Prime fans. I know she's not exactly like the Prime RC, but she's the same character. Uh, she's a bit of a reimagining of that character, and she is a really good, really well-articulated figure. So I do definitely recommend this figure. Uh, she's one of my favorites from this series so so far. Um, I've kind of liked all of the figures um, 
the only one that was really not my favorite has been Skids, uh, just because the other figures kind of knock him out of the park. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna review the Legacy figures. I might review Iguanas actually, but um, I'm not gonna review that uh, Rodimus or whatever Hot Rod because it's just not very good. Um, however, RC is pretty good. So this has been my review of the Transformers Prime Universe Legacy RC. And until next time, till all are one.